Okay. So, again, the first thing we want to make sure that our exponent is isolated. Is the exponent isolated? Yes. The next thing what we want to do then is I have to get, I want to see, can I use the one-to-one -one property? Can I raise 3 and 7 as exponents with the same base? No. No, right? Because we know that 3, 3 to the first is 3, 3 squared is 9, so that's not going to work, right? Um, so what I can do then is I have to take the logarithm of both sides. Now, here comes the problem though. Um, so I'm, the lo what log or base should I use then to take a log of both sides? Log base 3. So I'll take log base 3 of 3 raised to the x plus 1 is equal to log base 3 of 7. Now what's important about this, guys, again, as I've mentioned, when you have log base 3 of 3 raised to the power, as we went over those rules, it just equals the power. Now, here's the problem. If you guys remember, when we looked at Marissa's phone and we tried to compute the log, it only had log base 10, right? The same thing, unless you have a calculator where you can change the base, your calculator, a scientific calculator, only does log base 10. So we need to calculate this as log base 3. So the way to do that is we have to use what we call the change of base. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to rewrite this using log base 10. So we're going to say if the log base 3 of 7 is the same thing as log base 7 divided by log base 10 of 3. So please make sure you guys see how I came across this. Well, if it's log base 3 of 7, then you just do log base 10 of 7 over log base 10 of 3. Oh, because it's... Right. So then, in your calculator, you can now do log of 7 divided by log of 3. And which, what I get is x plus 1 is approximately 1.77. Then, I still need to solve for x, so I need to subtract 1. So x is approximately 0.77. I am rounding. That's why I use the approximate. Okay? 